So crime has gotten so bad in major cities nowadays that uh, restaurants are hiring armed guards. Restaurants. Really? If I hear one more mayor, governor, or president talk about the following things, I am going to lose my mind. Anything about the LGB fuck you community. Anything not related to the border. Anything how about there's still inequality in America. Anything about... Ukraine, oh my God. <sighs> and lastly, anything about Kamala Harris being the new head of the, the, the gun uh, department or building that, that they're putting together. Dude, no one cares. No one cares. You know what I want people to talk about legitimately as a concerned citizen of this country? Here are some topics that y'all should talk about and you shouldn't talk about anything else until these are handled. The border. Trust me, I'm in Texas. I know a bunch about it and it's horrible. The economy. People don't wanna pay 7.5% interest for a home. They don't wanna do it. Fuel prices. Get it together. And last but not least, how you are going to fix this country. Not for yourselves, not for a very small percent of the population, but for Everyone, everyone. I thought y'all are talking about equality, right? Then include everyone in your decisions. Not this BS like 1% of the country that thinks that, I don't know, they have an unfair advantage or they were born with a dick and now they want a vagina and they want to go into whatever restroom they want and, and they just feel discriminated against. Fuck all of you, fuck all of you. Tough shit. We all have problems, deal with it. But America is not changing its ways because you don't like your dick. Tough. Anyways, we got a video today that's that's good and bad. But before we start, a big thank you to Black Forest Supplements for sponsoring today's video. They've been a long time supporter of the channel and they make amazing supplements. So here are a few of my favorites. They've got their Testo Stack with Sistanch with Tunkat Ali and Turkesterone. If you're looking to optimize your testosterone levels, great stack. And what goes great with it is acromensia. I've always had stomach issues. I don't know if I'm lactose intolerant or just intolerant to what's going on in America, but this stuff helps majorly. It's a probiotic, helps regulate all the gut microbiome, amazing stuff. So they're giving you a discount code below the video. Go grab you some amazing supplements. The big story on Action News tonight is heavy security guarding the food line outside of Jim's West. There have been lines around the block since the lo location reopened. People saying they are excited about these cheesesteaks, but when it comes to the security with those rifles, the reaction mixed about this. Yeah, Action News reporter Brianna Smith now joining us live with what people are saying about what they saw while waiting for their cheesesteaks. <laughs> oh no, there's someone with a rifle. Look, for those of you who've been to Philadelphia, um, their cheesesteaks are legit. And to be honest with you, if I go there, I'm not going downtown without a gun. And no, I don't trust an armed guard to take care of me and mine. But the reactions to this is, you can tell just by what the news dude said, how they're going to be. The armed agents to keep them safe when they are out and just trying to eat. However, others argue it's alarming to see an AR-15. I'm so excited. The food has always been good. In my opinion, the best cheesesteak in town. Residents are thrilled the original Jim's West Steaks in West Philadelphia is back in business. Thank you. Now, mind you, folks, this is a place that has like blue canopy tents outside of their restaurant. So this is not like a high dollar, oh, I'm paying 65 bucks for a ribeye place. And they still have armed guards out here. Who's the mayor of Philadelphia? I don't know your name, but you suck. You should go down there and be like, look, my name's whatever my name is. I'm sorry that you feel like you have to hire armed guards at your restaurant. How can I help this? Clearly, this is a problem in my city. No, you guys are off at some vineyard or I don't know, sucking off Joe Biden. Whatever he's doing, you could care less. This is the point. Crime is good for these people. Crime is good for re-elections. I don't know how. Oh, blame it on the police. Blame it on guns. Guns, yeah, guns. But this time, customers can expect to see armed agents out front. The violence is spiked. Um, it's good goes up and down. You want people to be feel safe and to be safe. 
you know, so when they come out and eat, they don't have to worry about no type of harm. Now these are the owners taking it upon themselves to make sure that their customers feel safe at their restaurant. Couple of gents, they don't have to do this. They can just open their restaurant, have all these people on the sidewalk, and if a drive-by happens, well, okay, good job, guys. I still believe everyone there should be armed. Take care of yourself. But they're doing this out of their own pocket. This isn't state-funded, this isn't city-funded. They aren't giving an armed guard to every restaurant in the area. They're doing this on their own dime. Now let's get to the fairies who are like, oh my God, I saw a gun and I, I, I almost peed my pants. <laughs> if it deters it, I can't complain, I guess. But you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not exactly a big fan of guns, but I get it. No one gives a sh Did they ask you if you're a big fan of guns? No, no, they probably didn't. They probably asked you, well, do you, feel safe here. Do you like cheesesteak? That's why you're here. You like cheesesteak. If you don't, get the fuck out of here. Don't look at the guns. Others think it's not necessary outside of Jim's West. Now, North Philly, where that gas station is with the guys out there with machine gun, I can understand that. But here, it's a little overkill. Even if you just had an armed guard, okay, but just walking around with a machine gun, it's not family friendly. <laughs> He called it a, a machine gun. Okay, well, clearly you know a lot about guns. But I do want to give this guy credit and not for what he thinks. Um, you just not knowingly explained why the Second Amendment exists in America without even knowing. You just said, well, at the gas station over here, I totally get it. But here it's a little bit overkill. I mean, perfect explanation of how these people see gun control. Oh, well, I mean, people need to be armed in like downtown Chicago because there's a lot of crime going on, but like, but fuck nowhere. No, they don't, they don't need an AR-15. There's nothing going on there, there's no crime. What happens if crime presents itself? What happens if it presents itself that one time and you could have been armed, but you didn't, and now your family's dead? Well, no, I mean, our government can have it. I totally get that, but the people? No, they shouldn't have guns. You can't draw that line. You're not putting another human life over a different human life. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care if you're a governor. I don't care if you're some homeless dude that lives in Chicago. I don't care. Everyone has the right to defend themselves, even if you're getting a cheesesteak. <laughs> Thank you.